Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. Now, if you are an insider, you might have seen that this option is now available on a laptop or tablet that has a battery power. But um, you might also um, wonder why Microsoft is tweaking this and what is it going to be different from the different power saving modes. So we're talking about the uh, new feature coming to 25H2 which is the energy saver mode, which will be getting a new um, mode, which is called adaptive. And what will that change? So, of course, for ages, uh, Microsoft has been trying to tweak Windows and getting the maximum amount of battery life off of your devices. And the problem is... Windows on battery has never been as good as, say, Mac OS or even Chromebooks. It's always pretty much deceived, deceiving for a lot of people because um, manufacturers will, you know, give you an estimated amount of, oh, this this laptop is good for 12 hours, but you end up, you know, being lucky if you got six. So. Right now, the energy saver mode and the PCs with Windows often will tweak different things. Of course, it tweaks the speed of your processor and uh, it will try to put apps to sleep, things like that. But one of the things it tweaks that could be very annoying is the screen brightness. And you might have noticed that when you change modes, when you change for another power, a saver mode, your screen goes, tends to, you know, be less bright and you might not want that. So the new adaptive uh, battery saver for laptops and tablets is going to actually be more of a little um, app that kind of is going to just look at what you're doing. And when it notices that in terms of CPU usage, in terms of uh, SSD usage and so on, graphics usage, it doesn't seem to be very intense. Even while you're working, even while you're using the device, it will drop the CPU power. It will actually tweak to make your battery life as good as possible. And all of that without ever changing your screen brightness, which means if you choose a specific brightness, it will lower what it could do. It will stop or put to sleep apps that aren't used. It will do everything that it can to save energy everywhere, but it won't touch your screen brightness, which could be annoying when it would move around. And so even while you're doing things on your PC, it'll be able to analyze, um, um this is done. What's happening right now is okay. We, we can make the PC, um, you know, save energy here. And of course, as soon as you do something that will ask for more power, it will just throttle back to normal. Uh, so it's not just we're going to have you save more power when your battery's dead. We're going to have you save power uh, while you're using the device. So um, this is going to be interesting to see uh, how well it works and how much battery life you get um, more thanks to this new feature, which will be adaptive power saving. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.